as a late stage entrepreneur, you will probably have grown to some seven figures, right? And high six figures with a team of say 20 plus people, 10, 20 people. And one popular growth strategy in B2B, especially in technology related businesses, is that you have grown by delivering exactly what your customers want. That creates a problem, lack of scale, right? That's how you start. And then you have actually, <clears throat> I don't know, let's say six, seven projects instead of one product. Now, this video is about scalability. Watch it until the end. And uh, I help you with three tr tricks on how to make your business more scalable. Hey, my name is Armin Rao. I'm the founder of A. Leonard Rao, the entrepreneur's entrepreneur, and I'd like to help you to become a great leader. I've been a leadership coach and entrepreneur for more than 20 years. And today I'm actually sharing my experience from big corporates, but also from startups on leadership, on growth, on management with late stage entrepreneurs. I'm really happy to share this experience with you. If you don't want to miss any of my content, feel free to click on the button, the subscribe button underneath this video. This video actually is about scalability. One very important problem that many entrepreneurs face once they have hit seven figures, revenues, have a team of 10, 20 people, and now are asking themselves, how can I actually standardize my business a little bit more also to increase my profitability, not only to grow. Now here are three approaches on how you can make your business more scalable. Scalability secret number one is standardize your offering. What does that mean? If you've got a technology product or a product that needs constant adaptation, <clears throat> it can even be something that you have to build, you know, like um, say um, cabinets or whatever, make the offering standard. That means you have a kernel of the product that is always the same. And then you have a little part of the product that you customize for the respective customer. So that makes it very, um, that makes you very efficient. You build the kernel once and you can sell it again and again and again. And the customizing is only a little part, little bit of your work. And also make sure that you define the conditions for introducing the product at your customers and that you actually say, listen, here we've got the standard. You have to adapt your processes to the standard uh, otherwise, there's no possibility for us to introduce the product in your operation. So that can help you actually. Big, big household names or big, big companies such as SAP grew with this approach to billions and billions of revenue. So scalability secret number one, standardize the offering. Scalability secret number two, that is actually also a productivity secret it's to standardize your processes in the direct cost you know it is something like customizing integration and test everything is absolutely standardized follows the same rules like this you can standardize and scale because you can delegate work um, in the overhead processes like marketing IT and uh, others HR completely standardized. Everybody follows the same processes. In product development, the key is to have seniors for the architectures and juniors, or let's say even outsourced people for the development. That is a very important profitability and scalability secret here. And in all in all, also aim to stay lean, <clears throat> avoid waste in your processes and in your organization, so that here also you support the scalability of your business. Scalability, <clears throat> secret number three is offer transaction-based models, pricing models or business models. So if you have something to sell, don't sell the platform, sell the transactions that run through the platform. If for example, you've got uh, a new 3, 3D printing uh, technique, don't sell the 3D printer, but sell the, install the printer, lease it, rent it out, <clears throat> and then charge per transaction or do a combination between flat and transaction. In the software business that led to the software as a service 
uh, business model where you can actually rent the software and you pay monthly fees. So scalability method number three, sal scalability secret is introduce transaction based models. Scalability is a very important part of your business once you have achieved a certain state. As I said at the beginning, it is very normal that, that, that when you start the business, you do exactly as your customers want. And that leads often to a situation where you have several projects that you have to deliver. You have maybe five, six, seven different installations of your product at the customer. And that creates a lot of overhead in your business, a lot of support, effort and that is not what you want so standardize the product standardize the processes and offer new models of charging to introduce scalability that is an important insight for leaders of entrepreneurial companies leadership insight for entrepreneurs the life program actually teaches you all the tools tips tricks and methods of great leaders within weeks if you want to talk about a specific problem or challenge that you have, feel free to apply for a private session by clicking underneath this video on the link and to apply for a private session with me. It's 100% free. It is a real consulting session, no sales session. I'm not going to sell you anything. If you want to work with me afterwards, I'm happy to have you and to help you to grow more and to better manage and control the complexities of your business, which are probably central challenges for you. But it's not a sales session, it's a consulting session. So apply now, click underneath the video. That was Armin L. Rao from A. Leonard Rao, the entrepreneur's entrepreneur. And don't forget, lead yourself.